Hi, welcome to this tutorial about CrowdSim 3D. This video will set up a basic traffic simulation like it is shown here. We will start creating a road system, add agents to the scene, populate the agents with the model and simulate the traffic. We have a car model that we will be using to populate the scene. You can use any car model that you have. For now, we hide it so we can focus on creating the roads. We start by adding curves to lay out the road system we want. You can use the regular curve modeling tools you have. I quickly model a grid structure. When finished, we select all the curves and press Add Traffic System in the Add menu. A road system appears based on the selected curves. There are two new types of objects created. A mesh object, containing the visual representations of the traffic systems, and connectors. These connectors are generated where endpoints of the curves are close to each other. In the Properties Object tab, there's a section named Traffic where you find parameters to fine-tune the traffic simulation. When a curve is selected, you can change the number of lanes and other parameters. In a later tutorial we will show you the different options and what you can do with them. When a connector is selected, you can change the size of the connector, traffic lights and other stuff. I enable automatic traffic lights. Red planes are shown by the connector in the 3D viewport. When moving to other frames, these planes can become green. The planes indicate the state of the traffic lights for that lane. Adding agents. Now we will add agents to the scene. We will scatter the agents on the road system. We select the road system and press Add Agents Mesh. You can find this option in the Add CrowdSim menu. The factory created a single agent. To increase the number of agents we go to the Object tab, where we can change the number of agents. It is time to test what we have so far. In order to do that, we need to add some behavior to the agents. We open the CrowdSim node editor. And add a behavior node. We also add a traffic node. We connect them together and select the traffic system. By pressing Execute Behavior in the Behavior node, the traffic simulation is baked so we can play back the results. Let's use an actual car model. The scene has already a car model loaded. In the Object tab, the CrowdSim 3D option can be enabled. This tells the system that the model can be used for populating agents. With Populate, the appearance and properties of agents can be set or randomized. This is useful when there are multiple agents in the scene, so you don't need to configure them one by one. We will go into more depth in another video. In the CrowdSim 3D node editor, we will add a Populate node. And select the model we want to give the agents. When pressing Populate, all agents in the scene will be updated with the car model. Notice that the cars intersect as we haven't set the dimensions of the agents.
By using a traffic variable node, we can set the radius and minimum spacing. We press populate to update the agents and press execute behavior to update the simulation. The traffic system uses a non-destructive workflow and lets you change the traffic system at any time. If you don't want the curves to be straight, we can still change the curves. Select the curve and go to edit mode. Use the curve editing tools to modify the curves. We can change the height of a curve to make a more natural look. When finished editing, the traffic system needs to be updated. By pressing Refresh Traffic System, the traffic system is updated with the latest changes from the curves. The simulation can be updated by pressing Execute Behavior on the Behavior node. This video is almost over. It's only a glimpse of what the whole add-on can do. There are many possibilities that we still want to show, like configuring lanes, configuring traffic lights and turning lanes, use multiple car models and variate car materials, adding wheel animations, using OpenStreetMap and many others. These topics will be part of other videos where we explain one of these topics at a time.